Hello, Alex here. Today, let's take a look at Car OS. I've installed it on a virtual machine. So let me log in. And it's using the KDE Plasma desktop. Uh, yeah, it's already booted. So this is the welcome page. The first thing you see immediately after installation. So what is Car OS? The idea behind Car OS is to create a tightly integrated and transparent distribution for modern desktop built from scratch with very specific focus. Focus on one desktop environment, that's KDE Plasma, one toolkit, that's QT, and one architecture, that is x86-64, plus a focus on evaluating and selecting the most suitable tools and applications. So let's go through some of the features that are available here. We can start with widgets where you can customize to your desired look these ones are the usual settings you find on most uh, kde plasma desktop settings then we have themes you can select breeze breeze dark breeze light and then we have window decorations you can choose breeze midnight dark and close this and then we have our mouse behavior icon set our virtual desktops a screen settings this is where you should set your resolution we have colors and font settings next we have packages uh, this is where you should install all the packages you want our package group please choose one of the group to see the various packages so we have web browsers you can install from here music players uh, email client uh, image manipulation we have Krita, gimp digicam our uh, video editor we have uh, hidden live open short and then for office applications we have uh, this ones over here let's proceed to the next we have docs and uh, the docs to familiarize yourself with cars you need to read these documents so we have the ask smart uh, they are taking me to the browser so these are documents that are available online then we have uh, pacman then we have uh, switching to nvidia this is for if you have nvidia drivers you can check it out uh, additional kernel and kcp all these are documents that will guide you to know how to use these features then under uh, advanced uh, this is a list of advanced settings and options we have a uh, firewall very important you can just enable it from here let's just enable it anyway select confirm uh, you can set the rules in coming to deny going to allow let's just leave it the way it is then we have uh, energy savings uh, this is where you should uh, set what happens when you close your laptop lead or your PC is idle and then we have our uh, hard users network management KD wallet uh, configure search we have a uh, Pacman cache and then uh, finally we have the default apps for the default apps uh, this is where you set your default internet browser email client uh, music player and video player and then under the about section course we have about car OS then you can read more about this one from here if it's your first time interacting with car OS uh, one other thing here so from here you can gather that uh, the minimum install requirements are as follows a hard disk space of uh, 8 GB although they would recommend 25 GB and then you'll need uh, about 1.5 GB of RAM and they would recommend 2 GB if you have it and the architecture here is uh, x8664 preferably if you have a 64-bit CPU again it's a rolling release distribution because it's based on Arch so the taskbar is on the right uh, start button right here at the top we have the power text editor calculator file manager and then the browser so once we launch other search menu here you can see we have a falcon browser we have console uh, system settings infos let's go to the info center first 
yeah and uh, there's my system car os 2024 uh it's using kd plasma version 6.01 uh, kd framework 6.00 qt 6.6.2 the kernel is 6.7 the graphic platform is wayland and the rest here is uh, my hardware configurations uh before we proceed in further let's check the system monitor and see how much resource the system is using so so far uh 2.1 gb out of my 4 gb ram uh the hard disk is using about 9.3 uh, on the cpu is about around 90 90 percent or so again this is on a virtual machine so on a real hardware uh the usage might be a little bit less and then let's get back again to the start now we have uh, the Quantum Manager. A Quantum Manager. Uh, this one should be graphical user interface for installing themes and such. Then we have the File Manager. This should be the Dolphin File Manager. Yeah, just a normal file manager. Nothing special to it. And then one other thing is the. Let's check the Falcon. I remember the Falcon browser is based on Mozilla. Uh, we saw that one on the previous video which was about gen 2 so this here is a default browser uh, we also have the terminal let's check if we have a uh, neofetch here uh, most distros don't have neofetch installed some of them come with it uh, this one doesn't have again we have kate text editor we also have uh, for office we have libreoffice we have the mpv video media player I think you also have VLC, a very nice media player. This is Kate. Kate is a text editor. That's a normal text editor like uh, Gedit, Vim, Nano. You can also use it with the uh, sudo command to edit a system files. Still on the taskbar, we have the Octopine notifier. This one should be kind of app that allows you to find and install soft arch software you can search your apps here and download them that's it with the taskbar let's right click and go to configure desktop here you can choose uh, from a large selection of wallpapers that are available we have the usual kd plasma wallpapers and you can add your extra wallpapers and uh web internet we have the browser kd connect kd connect sms kd get a okay, get this one for torrent files uh, conversations uh neo chart a c file zen map uh and then under multimedia we saw a vlc file manager uh mpv media player we also get elisa which is a music player and harun media player and then we have the simple screen recorder one of the best screen recorders uh settings we saw uh quantum manager let's check it out and here you can in install our uh, extra themes from here if you have internet connection you can also delete uh, themes that you don't like and this is what the login screen looks like at the time on the left and then the login screen here at the middle looks like uh car os can support finger fingerprint if you have it if you have uh, the hardware to support fingerprint scanning uh, you can change your desktops from over here i have two workspaces that's it for today's video that was car os latest version for 2024 if you enjoyed the video make sure to give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and catch you guys on the next one